Dave Gore. I teach with the Lesson Foundry, and I want to talk a little bit about how to find any note anywhere on the guitar neck. So I play a little chord progression. And for me to know where these chords are supposed to be positioned, I have to be able to find notes anywhere on the neck. So the first chord I played was a C5. The next chord was a G5, the next chord was a D5, the uh, second to last chord was A5, and then finally I played E5. And all of those chords, the bottom note of the fingering, the one that I'm doing with my first finger is the root, and this is how you would position the chord. If you don't already know where those notes are, then here's a handy way to figure out where all the notes are. You just need to know three things. You need to know your open notes. You need to know your alphabet to the letter G, and you need to know where the half steps are in between notes, in, in between natural notes, notes that are not sharp and flat. So let's talk about the first part. The open notes, pretty easy to remember. There are a lot of mnemonic tricks that uh, you can use, but here's one that's uh, easy to remember. From the sixth string to the first string, Eddy, Eight, Dynamite, Good by Eddie. So you've got all your open notes. E, A, D, G, B, and E. The next thing that you need to be able to do is find a note using the alphabet. And uh, the musical alphabet only goes from the letter A to G, so I'm sure everybody has that covered. And then the last thing you need to know is the spacing between the notes. So Every pair of notes is always going to be separated by a fret. It's always going to have a fret in between them, except for two pairs of notes, B and C and E and F. B and C will always be on adjacent frets. So if this is B, this is going to be C. If this is E, this is going to be F. So if I want to find a C on the fifth string to position my first power chord, I just have to remember that the fifth string open is A, that it's, a, it's going to be more than just one fret from A to B, so I'll skip the first fret to get to the B, and then I have to remember that B and C is one of those two pairs that's adjacent, so C will be right on the third fret. If I want to find the G, it's basically the same thing. I want to find that G on the sixth string, then basically what I want to do is remember that the open sixth string is E, E and F is one of the two pairs that's going to be adjacent, so F would be on the first fret. To get to the G, I'm going to skip the second fret and go straight to the third fret. And that's basically how you can find any note anywhere on the guitar neck.